Welcome to Vlogmas yet again. Um, this is just a big backed up shot of my vanity. And that drawer um, right in the middle is where I keep, uh, what I was keeping was things I wanted to use up on one side. And on the other side, um, just basically uh, makeup basket. So we're going to go back to doing makeup basket. Now that we have sorted through a lot of my makeup collection, um, we're going to go ahead and start doing makeup basket again. Now, today is Tuesday, so it's not the typical Sunday, this is what my basket's going to be like this week. This is just going to be like maybe a few days, or 10 days, or whatever of, <laughs> of doing makeup basket to see if these things are things that I really like. Um, so I'm going to move in and we're going to get uh, started first cleaning out the drawer in the middle, uh, figuring out what I want to keep in there, what I want to get rid of, what I want to um, put back where it belongs, and getting out more stuff so that I can um, have a new makeup basket I have a lot of new things that I have yet to try. There are a lot of things in here that I did want to start using up <clears throat> and get out of my collection. Um, and there are some things in here that are pretty old. So, um, so far I've been using pretty much everything in the drawer. So, what we're going to start out with is stuff that I can get rid of. Um... Yeah, see, I used to love this black label detox. I don't know whether you can see that real well. Uh, I used to love it. It doesn't have much in it, and it's old. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. The Super Goop CC Cream, I'm pretty certain since every Super Goop item I've come across so far has been expired that this probably is as well. So I'm going to get rid of that. I do have these... Mm, it's got oil on it. Two of these in the color light. And neither of them are very old. This one's a little dirtier than the other one. Um, neither of these are very old. And so I'm going to hold on to those. I do keep stuff in this little container. You know, stuff that can't stand up on its own. So I'm going to keep those out um, and handy and use those up. I also have this um, under eye primer, um, so I'm going to try to uh, give this a try again. Um, I have this e.l.f. Um, gold, golden glow uh, pot, what do they call them? Anyway. Um, it's really pretty, but it doesn't translate onto your eyes that color, and also, it's, almost couldn't get the lid back on. This is really, really old, so I'm going to get rid of this. Alright, so this is also a powder that I'm trying to use up, but I think I might put this back in the powder drawer because this is like gigantically full, and I would really like to try a different powder. Okay, and this is the Tarte, it's medium neutral foundation powder. It's like pretty dark, <laughs> but I don't know that it would be that color on me. But I think that this has been around for a while. Um, and I'm going to let this go. This has to go in the trash though, because this has been around forever. Okay, I have an eyeliner pencil. It's from IT, and I really have not used this very much, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it away, but um, this, uh, I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to have to throw this out. This is 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. Um, I put it in this drawer. Oh, excuse my nails. I'm between manicures right now. I'll be manicuring tomorrow night, um, but anyway, uh, this is old, and I think it's time to let that go. Yeah, my nails are all yellowed from nail polish. Awesome. 
Well, let's see what else do I have in here. I can get rid of this. This, these were pencils and things that were in Project Pan. Um, while I'm doing this, I do want to say <clears throat> I do like Project Panning, and I like being part of the Project Pan community. However, I think that when we Project Pan, we tend to ignore um, too many other things. Okay, so I have this mini of this. Ugh. It's it looks yellow, but it's a pink lipstick, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna give this a try, but let me put it with that. Uh, that's fairly new. I got it as like a a bonus or something. Um, this mask is eyeshadow, and it's really really nice. But I think that I can go ahead and put this back in the eyeshadow drawer. Um, I have this. Glow Minerals. Yeah, the stuff in this drawer is a little bit of a mess because I also got powder all over everything. Um, but this is a suede matte stick and I just don't know. Um, it smells like peppermint. This is my favorite um, lip product. It's a um, it's a lip locked priming gloss stain it's called but honestly it's it's a lipstick um, this is in the color lucky I have a couple of these and I will not part with these no matter it's like my favorite this is an eyebrow product I totally forgot that I even have um, this is very very nice and it's a tinted brow gel this I'm going to get rid of it's called lip science volumizer this let me just smell it. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, it still smells good. I came from one of the beauty boxes, the vegan and cruelty free ones. I'll keep that. It's vegan and cruelty free. That's enough. Um, this Ofra lipstick, I'm going to keep um, in here actually because I want to give it a try. All right, so this here is a pearly colored lip um, product and I like it over a dark uh, lipstick um, it's in the color 06 it's uh, wow the lettering came off but it was coastal scents I'm not doing a lipstick declutter obviously this lipstick I've been wearing um, is a Rimmel lipstick I think I have two of these so uh, when I do a declutter I'll get rid of one of them this is pretty nice over a dark lipstick and um, and sometimes by itself. It's a lip gloss. All right, um, this is Laura Geller uh, color drenched lipstick lip gloss. I've been trying to use up these Laura Gellers because I know they're old, but I love that. I absolutely love it. This is my Tristique, um highlighting stick. This is going to go back um, and we'll pick something else. Um, this is a Tarte uh, primer. My daughter gave it to me. Doesn't look dried out or anything. Um, so I'm going to keep that in this drawer and I'm going to try to make an effort to use it. This Wet n Wild, this is metallic liquid lipstick. Um, this actually is something that I wear with dark lipstick also and I actually love that. All right, and this is an eyebrow highlighter. I know it sounds crazy, but you put this in the arch of your brow or in the inner corner and it just totally wakes your face up. I am currently using a couple of mascaras. There we go. Um, three of them, one is Elizabeth Arden, and I, I'm not gonna be switching these out. These are gonna stay. Um, this one is um, Rimmel. London. Um, I think it's the, it's Wonderlash with Argon, I believe. I don't know if they make it anymore. And this is Icon, Icono Milano, um, Emotion Aloud, it's called. Not crazy about it, but the brush is nice and small, so it does a nice job on the bottom lashes. Hmm. What I'm going to do now that <coughs> this basket is like pretty much empty, except for these items right here 
is I'm going to wipe it out and I'm going to start putting things in it that I want to finish. I'm going to put things that are going to be kind of perennial things I'm using up um, that I plan to continue to use up. That's going to be my form of project panning is going to be um, mainly like what I want to use up over time but not in a like a um, like a certain time frame. So I did pick out things that I do want to finish. Um, I know I want to finish this Estee Lauder. I have a couple of these. They all match me and honestly um, this is double wear. I, I can actually see what the fuss is about on these. Um, if Estee Lauder ever goes cruelty free, I will be buying this foundation because I love it that much. So anyway, I'm going to put that over here because that is one of the things I want to use up. Um, this bronzer is also an item that I want to use up. It's, um, it was not in my bronzer declutter because I love it too much. Let me just wipe it off a little bit. Um, I love this thing. It's weird. It's not, you can't buy it anywhere anymore and it's shimmery, <laughs> but, um, I love it. It looks really good on me. So, um, I'm going to be using that up and put that there. I do also have this little bottle of double wear, um, by Estee Lauder that I, that matches me beautifully. This is, uh, what color are you? Um, 102 it looks like it says so I'm going to use that up so even though I'm not participating in project pans per se uh, there are some things that I want to keep in my makeup basket that I'm going to be using up um, mascara obviously that's going to be used up um, I am working on finishing this maracuja I did go over this last night in my other um, video, so I am working on finishing that. Uh, this is actually um, one that you can use with uh, mineral eyeshadows. It helps them stick, um, but it's, it's old and it's the other one. I had another one just like it that was a little bit bigger. It actually expired. Uh, let's see. You know what? <clears throat> this smells wrong. I cannot believe it. Uh, Mica Beauty is like a really nice brand and this smells wrong so I have to get rid of it. I got eyeliner on a couple of these things and it won't come off. <laughs> this Laura Geller, but I do want to finish this because it is older and it's time to finish that. Okay, I do keep um, always a, an eyeshadow primer. I am really tired, can you tell? Uh, so I'm going to keep that. Um, this Ulta eyeshadow, I had told myself I was going to finish this and get rid of it, but I can't. I, I just, I cannot ever part with this, but it is getting older, so I am going to keep it in here just because it really needs to be finished. Um, I don't want to put too much stuff in here because I know I know how my mind works. What I'll end up doing is I'll end up um, with too much stuff and I won't be able to finish any of it. All right, I'm gonna put this back here. This is the one that's got the uh, smash, smash box. Um, <clears throat> I'll be able to just pull that out very easily. This powder, oopsie daisy, let me see. Um, I, you can tell that I use it also for other powders. I sprinkle like um, sheer powders into it and then I uh, use my big brush and I do my eyes first and then go through the rest of the powder and I end up doing my, um, the rest of my uh, face with the powder itself. I do want to use this up. I actually have a picture pre-use up. If I can find it, I'll insert it over here. Um, I, I really like this powder. It's Physician's Formula. 
Um, they don't make this oopsie daisy one anymore. So um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to put that there because I do want to finish that. Is that too tall? No. Okay. I also have this Ulta chubby stick in sugar and spice that is, this one is pretty old um, and there's not much left in it. It doesn't have a lot left and so I want to finish that. Uh, this I have to finish even though I love this color. This is by Marinesse and it's Glossy Kiss and uh, 04 is the um, name of, is the color, uh, whatever that means, but I cracked the cap. So I have a piece of tape on it. <laughs> I cracked it and so it's not airtight anymore. This is going to probably go to my daughter. I think I did this um, item in a the project pan I did. So I'm going to put that aside on the Hello Kitty dish for her. My spackle is like one of my favorite things. And it was in, a, in my use up, obviously you can tell. Um, this was going to be used up over the course of the year. I'm going to keep this in here because I do want to use it up simply because of age. This I think I can put in the drawer. Um, this is BB Insta Ready. I don't think I need to have this out because I'm not project panning it anymore. But I love, love these eyeliners from Urban Decay. They are my favorite ones and these are my oldest ones. So I'm going to keep them in here so that I finish them. Okay, so I like that this has not got a ton of stuff. <clears throat> oh, this is also in my project pan. It was, but I, I, it's like, why? It says, good morning skin serum. I think it's mainly used as a makeup serum. I have this eyeshadow quad. I'm going to toss this. Um... I used my favorite colors already. The thing is broken. The name is worn off and I have another one that's got these colors. So I don't need to keep that. Um, and I have this Julie Hewitt. Is it Julie Hewitt? No, it's a uh, Julie Devitt. Um, is it that say Julie? Why do you make it hard to read? It's probably a good idea to um, use it, but I don't know if I need to finish it. This is going to become our makeup basket. So I'm going to wipe this out with a fresh wipe. Uh, so as far as project panning goes, I am going to continue um, doing my nail, um, nail product project uh, polish, I think it's called. But my project polish doesn't have a beginning and end date. It doesn't have... Like there's no, uh, I, I actually put 2018 and 2019 on the color wheel. I just want to see how many I finish in that period of time between now and December 31st of 2019. Um, this is going to be for makeup basket. Okay, so I have this nice clean thing that's going to function as makeup basket. I've done this makeup basket video thing a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by grabbing something out of every drawer. That sounds weird, but I think that's the only way I'm going to uh, use stuff. So obviously there's nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing in there. Very proud of myself. Nothing in there. Uh, lipstick in here. So we're going to start first with the lip products. I'm going to grab this because I'm going to give it a try. <clears throat> and if I hate it, I will uh, give it away. You know what? I don't remember this one. Let me see. Focus, focus, focus. This is um, a natural brand product, but it's like a color that looks like totally me. Mm -hmm. I have this pixie one. It's completely wrapped though. I wonder if I should really just give this one away. Crap. No, I'll try it. Pixie's cruelty free. And one more lip product. Because I don't feel like that's enough. Um, this here is intriguing to me. It's e.l.f. Glossy Gloss. And so I think I'm going to give this a try. I like the color. 
Should we grab one more thing? Yeah, let's grab this Milani. Um, what the heck? <clears throat> now, I have beauty products down here. Mm, maybe I should challenge myself and do the peel. I bought one and then I got one in a box. I was like, damn it. I got the sensitive one in a box. And so I'm going to take this out. Okay, and then up in this drawer, I have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, maybe this Bio Sans Oil. Um, so neither of these things actually are makeup, but I'm going to include them in this makeup basket because I'm trying to use everything. Okay, blush drawer. Blush is a little bit more intimidating just because I have so much blush, bronzer, and highlighter. Let me back you up a little. I think I'll take this out because honestly I've never used it and I think I will give this a try. And let's see what else. I'm going to try one of these loose blushes. Is this stupid of me to not? Yeah, let's do it. Let's grab a smaller one. I'm going to try a loose blush and see how that goes. <clears throat> You know what? We need a highlighter, so um, I'm going to just grab this powder highlighter. It's also a loose um, product. And down in here, um, I actually have a couple of concealers over there, so I'm not going to pick a concealer. And I already have um, mascara that I'm using, so that drawer is out. Then there's this eyeshadow drawer, and honestly, oh, I think I should use something that's um, that I have never used or have rarely used. Maybe this enhancing eyes. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe I'll give this Pacifica set a try. You know, I'm also going to be pulling up, pulling things from my eyeshadow palettes into this. So, yes, from my bigger palettes. Okay, this is the powder drawer, and I think it's overflowing, and I do have to get rid of some stuff. This, however, is a recent acquisition. It is the um, Bare Minerals Invisible Light. I know this gets like good press and bad press all at the same time. I'm going to give this a try. It's still in the box, which I think we can get rid of. Um, and I'm also going to give Tarte Smooth Operator a try. So that'll be the other powder that I use. Um, now for foundation. I made a boo-boo mistake. I accidentally bought another one of these. I didn't even realize I had it. That's really sad. But anyway... I put a little X on the one on the vanity because I use that one all the time. I love, love, love it. But we have to use something different this time. Okay, <clears throat> now I have this and I've never used it. It is Physician's Formula Healthy Skin. Um, so I'm going to put that in there. And I'm also going to put a powder foundation. And this is a new one that I got. Um, a few months ago, Laura Geller, and I'm going to give that a try also. This is the concealer. CoverGirl is now cruelty free. Hallelujah! Um, so I'm going to be giving that a try. And I'm also going to be giving this Physician's Formula one a try. So I have quite a few things already. And I'm adding this lipstick, which I got. It's CoverGirl! Yay! So. Anyway, I'm going to put you back on the tripod. I'm going to go over each item in this uh, makeup basket. And like I said, it might be a little longer than um, just a week. Uh, so let's wait and see. And when I get done, I will give you reviews of each and every one of these products. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So this is the makeup basket for this week slash month slash several weeks, who knows. I know that sounds like I'm copping out by not saying exactly what it is, but um, I am going to um, 
go over each and every one of these products um, and I'll give you the colors on everything. So start with the lipsticks. Um, this is Pixie. Uh, are you a matte? I don't know. I can't really tell by the label, but uh, this is Sheer Rose, so this may actually just be a gloss. Um, this Noya, I believe, is just a regular lipstick, liquid lipstick, not a matte. Um, and this is in the color um, Music. No. Malbec. Maybeck. Don't have a uh, magnifying glass, so I can't really tell you exactly what that color is. Um, I, I'll be able to tell you by the time I finish um, and I'm ready to do reviews. And this here is an e.l.f. Glossy Gloss, and it is in the color um, Berry Blush. No. Berry Blah? No, I don't know. Sorry. My eyes are tired. Um, <laughs> this is um, a Milani. It looks metallic. And it's in the color, it says 13, and the color is dram over dramatic. Okay, so anyway, this is called a more matte metallic. So we'll see how this works out. I might not like that. Um, this is a CoverGirl lipstick that I bought, and you can see the color is really pretty. Um, next time I tape this, I'll tape it in daytime so you can actually see everything. But anyway, this is a CoverGirl, and this is in color 415, and it is in Delight Blush. Okay, so I also have this um, CoverGirl under eye. Um, it's called CG Smoothers. It's in the color 710 Light Pale. Um, I got that one because even though it seems like a little bit lighter of a color than I usually get, I could tell by looking at it that it'll probably be right. Then this M uh, lip palette. I don't even know if this stuff is still good or not, so we're gonna find out. Doesn't smell bad or anything, so I'm sure it's still okay. <clears throat> then there is this um, baked foundation by Laura Geller. This is her newest version of it. It's um, glow and illuminating, and it is in the color light. Um, so I'm very anxious to try that. Um, I bought that a while ago, and I can't remember where I bought it. I think it might have been Derm Store. I also have this Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, SPF 20. I've never used this. Um, I think this is probably the perfect color for me. Um, it's in the color LN4, so it looks like, um, if anything, it might be a little bit light, but I'd rather that than have something be a little dark and then have enough to try to color correct. Um, I also have this under eye concealer, and I will let you guys know how this works out. Um, by the time I see you again, the new things will be out of their packaging. <laughs> um, so I'll let you guys know how that one works out. Um, then there's this Invisible Light Powder. Let me get it out of the cardboard and get rid of that. Um, and this I did actually buy new on Poshmark for like $8. Um, so I don't know whether this is good or not, but for $8 um, is something I always wanted to try, and I did manage to get my hands on it. So that was a good buy. The other powder I'm going to try is this Balance and Brighten by Tarte. It's a small um, container of it, but this is typically something that will last for a while, even though it's small. Um, I did put an eyeshadow set in here. It's a trio by Pacifica. The colors look kind of interesting, so I'm kind of interested in trying that. And then there is this palette. Um, for Green Eyes by BH Cosmetics. Um, and the colors are really, really pretty. Let me see if I can just get a double pick of the colors. But they are really pretty. Oh my gosh, and looking at them sideways right now, I can see they're like seriously, seriously beautiful colors. So, 
Um, let's see what's back here. I have a highlighting powder. It's got a pinkish hue. It's ZZ Minerals um, Light uh, Mineral Highlight Powder. So it's kind of pinky, so we'll see what it ends up being. And I also took out a blush by Bella Pierre. This is a loose powder blush, so we don't know how that's going to work out. Um, who knows? And then there is this contouring palette. I've never used it, never ever, and I see a lot of people really like it. So I'm, I have high hopes for it. Oh, by the way, I'm going to put this in there, this Burt's Bees um, Goodness Glows, just because I have so much. I have two of those, so I'm going to um, use that also. Then I also have the Green Apple Peel in the Sensitive version, um, and I have this Biosense um, Oil. So those things are also going to be included in this um makeup basket. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you like uh, the series that I'm doing, please give this a thumbs up. Um, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. I hope you enjoyed this and um, definitely come back again soon to watch uh, more. Uh, it'll actually be more Vlogmas episodes that you see um, coming up. So anyway, thank you very much and have a beautiful evening. Good night.